welcome to Mojo for Industry coverage of the Smartery India 2024 exhibition from the Helipad Exhibition Center in Gandhinagar held from 21st February till the 23rd. The Smartery India is not just an event, it's a beacon of innovation in the new energy world, showcasing cutting-edge solutions and technologies spanning solar energy storage and electric mobility. This exhibition reflects the dynamic interactions of various industries shaping our sustainable future. Today, we have the privilege of being at the Adani Solar booth, a prominent player in India's solar landscape. Adani Solar is building the world's first ever fully integrated and comprehensive ecosystem of 10 gigawatt solar PV manufacturing in Mundra. Joining us is Mr. Rahul Bhutiani, the Chief Marketing Officer of Adani Solar, who will be sharing insights about their participation at the exhibition and the overview of Adani Solar. Uh, welcome to Mojo for Industry, sir. So, so, Prime Minister recently announced the Surya Ghar uh, Muf Bajli Yojana, the initiative of uh, reflecting the uh, electricity to each and every household. Adani Solar being the key player in the solar sector, what do you have to say about it? No, we are very uh, enthused by this announcement by the Prime Minister. It's a great initiative. Uh, it's a huge commitment that the Prime Minister has made to the people of India. And we are aligned to this uh, initiative, we are aligned completely to uh, helping fructify this dream that he has put forward, this initiative that he has created. And uh, we will, uh, you know, be able to support this initiative through our uh, uh, panels from, uh, you know, and supply them to the country, across the country. So I think we are completely aligned to this initiative and we welcome the, uh, the initiative that the Prime Minister has initiated. So how does Adani Solar plan to expand its market footprint beyond manufacturing capacity? Are there any specific investments right now? So in terms of uh, the manufacturing business, we are making our investments in creating more uh, of, you know, completely integrated uh, value chain, supply chain uh, within the country. And that's where our major investment is going to be. But we will be making significant investments in expanding our reach so that we make our panels, our uh, modules available to uh, the entire country. Every nook and corner will have access to Adani modules. So many a times earlier as well, we've spoken about green hydrogen. Uh, so what is your perspective on that right now? So we continue to uh, evaluate this space. We have committed ourselves very uh, significantly for, uh, you know, in terms of investments in the green hydrogen space. Uh, the green, as you would know, in the green hydrogen comes from renewable energy and uh, solar manufacturing will feed that, uh, you know, the, the generation of solar energy, of uh, renewable energy. So that's the integration that we have between green hydrogen and the solar manufacturing space and we will continue to, to invest in the uh, solar manufacturing space because it will also help fuel our green hydrogen dreams. All I can say is that we continue to uh, make commitments to this space and as a group and uh, we will see soon some uh, uh, announcements that, that will be able to clarify our, uh, you know, how we are going to move forward into this space. So returning to the Smartery Expo, I could see a buzz, uh, a throbbing buzz in your uh, booth. So what is the new thing that you've launched over here? Could you specify uh, the thing? Sure. So we are, uh, uh, we, are, we are maybe the first and the only manufacturer in the country who has a Topcon module made with Topcon cells in India. Uh, so that's something that uh, is... Uh, attractive and interesting for people that uh, there is an Indian manufacturer who has the latest technology and who's uh, bringing out the latest technology made in India, completely made in India to the market. Uh, additionally, we are close to uh, bringing into production a full-scale uh, ingot wafer manufacturing facility. So we will soon be doing our own wafers. We have put up a 2 gigawatt facility already for ingots and wafers. Uh, so we will be having our own wafers feeding our cell lines very soon. So that's the, uh, the those are the two new interesting things that we have uh, here at the at the show, which kind of sets us apart from the rest of the manufacturers. Uh, I would like to ask you about the future roadmap for Adani Solar. Could you highlight any points over there? Yeah, I mean, like we've been saying, and we continue to co remain committed to that. We will be expanding our capacities to 10 gigawatts, and this will not be just modules, it will also be uh, cells, ingot wafer, uh, polysilicon. So we will be 
taking it right up to MG Silica. The intent and vision is to start with MG Silica, make polysilicon, make ingots, wafers, cells and modules, everything and some ancillary units like glass, back sheet and capsulants, junction, junction boxes etc. So that's the vision. Once this uh, entire uh, ecosystem is ready uh, in maybe the next uh, three years, of course it will all be uh, done in phases. So we will have another 3 gigawatts of cell and module coming in earlier than maybe the 10 gigawatts or more of the uh, polysilicon coming in. But uh, once it is ready, maybe in the next two or three years, we will be uh, uh, literally doing almost 90% of the uh, content in a solar panel will be made in India. So as you just said about the 10 gigawatt, even in 2023 when we met, you had spoken about 10 gigawatt. So uh, where do you stand today? So, you know, these are long uh, gestation investments. Uh, we announced this in 2023. We continue to invest towards that. Our intent is clear. Our vision is clear. Uh, it is a very large investment. Almost 30,000 crore rupees will be invested to make this to make this vision uh, come true. Uh, we have moved from cells and modules to now ingots and wafers. We will be further expanding that and adding more capacity in cells and modules. So I think in phases we will see this fructify. Maybe by 26, 27 I guess is when we should be uh, a 10 gigawatt ecosystem. All right. And so my last question would be, what are the key targets that Adani Solar is viewing right now? Uh, well, uh, every business uh, is uh, has its own, uh, uh, you know, key result areas, and and for us, very clearly is uh, from a manufacturing standpoint, how to become the most efficient, most uh, uh, you know, effective manufacturer uh, with with uh, having maybe the best in class capacity utilization, best in class uh, efficiencies, etc. And and on the the uh, sales marketing side, we would love to have a situation where we continue to build out our brand. We've, we're maybe one of the most recognized, most followed brands in India today. We want to maintain that, build it out further and obviously achieve the uh, entire, whatever we produce, we want to sell. And that's how we drive ourselves, that we, we don't want any inventory, we don't want any slippage in capacity utilization. We just produce whatever max we can and we sell whatever we produce. As we conclude our conversation with Mr. Bhutiani, it's evident that Adani Solar continues to drive innovation and sustainability within the solar energy landscape. From ambitious manufacturing goals to exploring frontiers like green hydrogen, Adani Solar exemplifies a commitment to shaping a cleaner, brighter future. We thank Mr. Bhutiani for sharing his insights with us and wish Adani Sola continued success in its end of years. Viewers, stay tuned to Mojo for Industry for more updates from the Smarter E 2024 exhibition. Hello, viewers, I'm Neha Wagle. If you liked watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us so you never miss any of the latest industrial news from around the country and the world. Stay connected with us and keep watching Mojo for Industry for all the latest updates.